Remex came about really from the government's decision to close Remploy. And one of the factories, Remploy factories, was here in Blackburn making education furniture. I ended up here to really to close the factory. And during that period of time that I was here, which was over a year, I discovered that it actually was quite a good business. And so during that time, there was a bid made for the business by one of the competitors that fell through. Peter and I decided it was too good to actually throw the business away. So we looked for ways to find that we could continue the business and employ some of the people from the old Remploy factory. The biggest challenge we faced when we, went, when we started the business was to find finance. Not so much grants for equipment, that sort of stuff, but it was really about finding working capital to run the business. That was the, that was the challenge, getting a bank to listen to us. We found the business growth hub through some support that we were getting from Lancashire County Council, Regenerate Pennine Lancashire. Um, Blackburn and Darwin, who've been very supportive of us, uh, introduced us to the Lancashire Leap programme. And Peter and I went to a boot camp at Lancashire Leap. One of the presenters there was Prakash Patel from Access to Finance. And I got talking to him during the coffee break and he talked about uh, business growth and it went from there. Business Growth Hub uh, has been a tremendous help to us. The first problem that we had, and the biggest problem of all, was finding finance for the business. Once we got an advisor from Business Growth Hub, that made things a lot clearer. The opportunities were explained to us. Um, the the uh, places where we could get finance were explained to us properly before we had no idea where to go other than to a bank. Eventually, we ended up with, um, with the help of the, the advisor, we ended up with the finance that we needed for the business. And... Um, that's been really, really good. To grow your business is very, very important. And for us, growing the business means that we can employ more people. Um, and that was where we started from. We wanted to be able to employ people with disabilities, not to replace Remploy, but to, but to um, employ some of the people that used to work there and perhaps other people with disabilities around. So we need to generate growth in order to be able to do that. And we also need to, this needs to be a proper commercial business. So in order to do that, we need to generate profits. And as we do, we'll put that back into funding places for other people to uh, come here and work with us. I couldn't overestimate how important support services are when you're starting up a new business. No matter how experienced you are in business, you don't know what's available. You don't know what you half the things that you need to do to make a business a success. So these sort of support programs are absolutely vital and we wouldn't have been able to manage without it. Our advisor from Access to Finance is Prakash Patel. Prakash is full of knowledge and full of enthusiasm and really made the whole thing, made the whole thing work. He came with us for appointments, he advised us, he reassured us, calmed us down from time to time when we needed it but really drove and uh, led us through the process and made it, made it much more simple than it would have been. And um, I can't overestimate how important that was to us. Now that we've got our finance in place with the help of Business Growth Hub, I think that we can really start to develop this business and get some really fast growth. We know our market, we know that the opportunities are there, we know it's a big growth market, that there are shortages of school places so that we know that we can get our share of that market. And I think that um, it's very exciting from now on in.